going to show you how to make one of the panels from the Notables bunting set from Creative Kiwi. For this I'm going to be using a 5x7 hoop, two layers of wash away stabiliser, a matching bobbin and thread, some T-pins, masking tape, cotton bud, a stitch remover, my squizzers and my fabrics and batting cut to size. And I've also got a layer of cutaway stabiliser cut to the same size as my fabric as I'm going to be using that to block out the stitching um, that's going to show up on the back because I'm using a light coloured fabric. You'll find a link to this design in the video description below. If you would like a chance to win Creative Kiwi loyalty points to the value of this design then just keep on watching as details will be given further on in the video. We're going to start off by hooping our stabiliser. So if you're using a traditional hoop, place your stabiliser over the outer frame, then insert the inside one. And then we're going to pin around the top edge of this hoop and that will prevent our stabiliser from being pulled down between the two hoop pieces as we stitch. So take a pin, rest it on the inside frame push it through your stabiliser, bring it round and back through the stabiliser again and that will anchor it. You're going to do that on all four sides. Load your chosen file into your machine. They're all stitched in a similar fashion and they all follow an order no matter which one you're doing. So you'll have, for example, in this one, the clef, then you'll have the accidental, then the note, then the text. It may vary from panel to panel slightly, but it still follows in that order. Then you're going to pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number one, and that's going to give you a placement outline for your batting. Place your batting over the outline and tape it in place. Pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number two to secure it. Trim away the excess batting from around the edge of the stitch line, taking care not to cut your stitches. Place your front fabric over the top of the batting and tape it in place. I've added some tape on the sides as well just to keep my fabric nice and taut while the stitching goes on. You're now going to pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number three and that's going to secure your fabric to the hoop. We're now going to stitch the lines of the staff or stave depending on where you're from. So load your thread colour for the lines into your machine and then stitch round number four. I'm going with black. Load your thread colour for the clef into your machine and then stitch round number five. I'm staying with black. Load your thread colour for the accidental into your machine and then stitch round number six and I'm staying with black. Load your thread colour for the note into your machine and then stitch round number seven and I'm staying with black. Load your thread colour for the text into your machine and then stitch round number eight and I'm going with black. Mm -hmm. 
it's now time to add our backing fabric so turn your hoop over and because I've got a really dark colored thread and a very light colored fabric um, the chances are it's going to show through so I'm placing a layer of cutaway stabilizer over the outline before I add my backing fabric and then I'll just place that right over the top and then we're going to take that in place load your matching bobbin and thread color for the satin stitching of the border of your panel into your machine and then stitch round number nine and I'm staying with black Trim away the excess fabric and cutaway stabiliser from both back and front of your hoop. So turn your hoop over and trim away, taking care not to cut your stitches. making sure that you've got your matching bobbin and thread colour for the satin stitching of the border loaded into your machine. You're now going to stitch round number 10 and that's going to do the edge of your panel. If you're not making bunting with your panel, you can now stop here. If you are, you're now going to stitch round number 11 and that's the eyelets. The next step is to trim out the fabric from within the eyelets. So turn your hoop over and taking care not to cut through your wash away stabiliser, we're now going to create a slit and then trim out the fabric and the um, cutaway stabilizer underneath here. So I'm just going to take a stitch on picker and create a, a slot, so, or slit should I say, for my scissors to fit into. I'm going to do the same on the front while I'm at it. Okay. And then we're going to carefully trim away here. And I'm doing it layer by layer so I can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to take the fabric off first and then the stabilizer. We're now going to do the same on the front, but this time we're going to take out the fabric and the batting. And again, I'm doing it in layers. So that's the eyelets trimmed out. I'm going to give you a little tip just in case you do have an oops moment and cut out the wash away stabilizer from your eyelets. You need, you need that there to support the satin stitching around them. Without it, it's going to look a mess. So what you can do is just turn your hoop over again, place two layers of wash away stabilizer over the um, eyelets, then secure it in place with some tape and then stitch round number 11 again and that's going to secure 
the stabilizer to the hoop and then you just carry on um, as if it hadn't happened so it's not a disaster never be in too much of a rush to unhoop your work or throw it away when you do make a mistake so making sure that you've got a matching bobbin and thread color for the satin stitch around the eyelets loaded into your machine you're now going to stitch round number 12 and I'm staying with the black so that's our stitching finished we can now free our work from the hoop so turn your work over and working from the back we're going to trim out the center of the eyelets and also around the edge you see I find it easier to do in the hoop than out All that remains is to get rid of all the excess stabiliser so take a cotton bud and some warm water dip it in and then just wipe it around all the edges it's competition time so if you would like to win creative kiwi loyalty points to the value of this design subscribe and tell me whereabouts you are on your musical journey and what musical instrument you play this competition will close 6 p.m central european time plus two on sunday the 12th of november and the winner will be picked at random from all the valid entries so be sure to check back and see if it's you good luck and thanks for taking part and that's our bunting complete i'm going to give you another little tip um, especially if you're gifting things with wash away stabilizer inside sometimes with the slightest bit of moisture um, the wash away stabilizer can partially dissolve and it makes the item look all wrinkled up and people think that it's ruined and throw things away and you don't want that to happen to your hard work so what you can do is put a little note in to say that there's wash away stabilizer inside this item um, once you've washed it twice in a warm wash it will all disappear dry it flat and then press it as you would normally and it will be as good as new that way people aren't going to think that they've ruined the gift that you've given them either that or you can wash it out beforehand and then let it dry flat and then press it and nobody's ever going to know that it's been washed i hope you've enjoyed this stitch long if you did please give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to be notified of new videos as soon as they're published. Do pop along to Creative Kiwi's Facebook group. There's always lots of ideas, help and inspiration there for everybody. And thank you very much for joining me. You'll find a link to this design in the video description below, along with lots of other information such as where I get my supplies and some discount codes for you as well. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.